For the tip of the week this week, we're going to discuss how to create design options with a pin feature. So if you're not familiar with the pin feature, let me describe this and how this works. So the design for, for creating design options, we're going to use the renovation feature. Now, people don't usually think about using the renovation feature for design options. Most of the time we think about using layers, which can be used. You can create different layers and assign those to different layer combinations. So you might have a layer uh, called design option one, another layer called design option two, another layer called design option three, and then you assign those to layer combinations. And that works, that's fine, we can do that. Uh, but another way of doing this, which has grown since uh, um, uh, we've introduced this among our clients, um, this is a great way of using the renovation tool. So the renovation tool has the ability for us to, to use what's called the pin feature. I'll describe it in a minute, but it's this little button right here. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to first go to uh, your uh, options menu, go down to palettes, and open up the renovation palette. And if you've not done that before, then you'll get this renovation palette. Then you want to click this little button right here and go right down the bottom of it and select renovation filter options, which will open up this dialog. Then you want to select all visible and unlocked. Click duplicate and type in option one. You're then going to want to repeat that same process for um, option uh, one, two, and three. Okay, or two and three. So basically, you know, however many different options you need. So in essence, you're going to have these different options now that will then reflect uh, the different options for um, your, 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 your different schematic design options. Once you've done that, here's how, you, how it works. You basically go, and in the renovation filter, you select option one. You then go and select and press this button so it's now depressed. Then it'll show a little pin on it. That means now you're pinning whatever you're drawing now is being pinned to option one. And then go and start to draw. You then select your renovation filter, change it to option two. Then begin to draw whatever you want pinned to option two. Now, whenever I um, select option one, it's going to show me my walls or elements that are pinned to option one, both in 2D and in 3D and in any sections and elevations and any other views. If I go and select for option two, it's then going to turn off what was pinned to option one and turn on what was pinned to option two and begin to show that in any other views as well. What's also nice about this is that when you open up the settings of elements, you can change them between option one to option two and option three. So it makes it really easy for you to be able to, to um, uh, uh, be able to move elements between these different options. And also for you to be able to sit in front of a client and simply toggle between the different option sets you have. And these can be used in conjunction with layers as well. So it's something that you can use uh, to help you in, in defining different option sets and then saving those as views here for different options that you have as well. And that is our tip of the week.